Happy 4th of July to all our viewers in the U.S. and happy Friday to everyone else out there. I'm Alexa Mendez and this is the Weekly Watcher for Friday, July 4th, 2008. It's a big holiday weekend for me, but even a day off can't hold me back from bringing all the mega awesome Marvel news. Marvel movie fans went bonkers with the first look at four official Punisher Warzone movie posters. But bam! Look for more on the film as we get closer to its December release. Marvel animated aficionados bask in the glory of a brand new Next Avengers trailer this week. If you can't wait until September to get your hands on the DVD, you can head down to San Diego Comic Con in a few weeks and watch the movie with a group of rabid Marvelites. And if you're at Comic Con, make sure to check out the custom Captain America Honda element on display. While Comic Con's fast approaching, everyone here is still unwinding from last weekend's Wizard World Chicago show. Get the full scoop on news and info from the show, including details on this year's What If One Shot, new Brian Michael Bendis project, and more. While comic fans have much to look forward to, there were also a slew of killer books out this week. Let's hit this week's stack. Summertime Mutant Mayhem kicked off with Astonishing X-Men number 25 by the European superstars Warren Ellis and Simone Bianchi. Writer Brian Reed and artist Marco Castiello served up a slice of scrully goodness from the average human's point of view in Secret Invasion, Frontline number 1. Set five years after the events of Ultimate Power, a world's heroes return in Squadron Supreme 2, number 1, by Howard Chaikin and Marco Torini. Okay, I'm done. Time for hot dogs and fireworks. As always, for a full list of comics on sale, news and info on movies, video games, and toys, along with thousands of digital comics, check out Marvel.com. I'm Alexa Mendez, and this is Marvel, your universe. Marvel, your universe.